Are we? Are we good? Yeah. Yes! It's good, man. It's fucking it's good to be here. Uh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't started yet. <laughs> I hope the cameras are rolling, but I haven't started yet. <laughs> this bit of the start is just flim flam. I'm pretty much just giving you all a minute to drink me in, if I'm honest. <laughs> All right, all right, don't fucking patronise me. All right, let's go. I'm well, <laughs> well aware of what it looked like. Because it's a bold look, this, isn't it? Yay. All right, weird energy. <laughs> weird energy to bring, but I appreciate you. <laughs> it is, man, it is. It's a bold look. I know it's a bold look because a friend of mine, a friend, he recently came up to me and he said, Gareth, you know, you kind of look like a fucking Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> joined ISIS, so it's not ideal. <laughs> as far as faces go, I'd actually prefer another one, if I'm honest. Although I gotta, I gotta level with you, I am very 50-50 uh, very with that overall, as a, as a statement. Because, uh, yeah, the, the ISIS part, hey, I'm not, I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> But, uh, but that is a sexy fucking panda. So overall, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but it is, genuinely, genuinely, fuck it. It's really good to be here. And thank you all so much for being here. It's just really nice to be back doing this again, like doing stand up in, fr in front of people again. Because the last few years have been shit, haven't they? Yeah. Cool, four of us, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you just staring at me going, ah, she had a fucking belter, mate. I'll never. <laughs> My, my lockdown was shit, man, right? My lockdown was shit for two particular reasons, right? Reason number one was, uh, was I found out that, uh, that, uh, that I'm susceptible to, uh, to a little condition <laughs> called, uh, called gout. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, yeah. Oh, sexy. Sexy, sexy gout. What the fuck? Gout. <laughs> what the fuck, man? To be fair, though, I don't look like a guy that's not got gout, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I knew fucking nothing. I knew nothing about gout. All that I knew about gout was it was like a thing that like fucking fat old kings used to get. <laughs> Yeah, which, which, to be fair, <laughs> does kind of perfectly sum up my lockdown. It was just all my friends coming up to me after going, hi, how, much, how, was your, how was your lockdown, buddy? And just me going, well, lads, let's just say I ate like a king. <laughs> just fucking leave it at that as I awkwardly limp away. <laughs> For the second reason, the second reason, and by far, by far the more important reason as to why my lockdown was shit was because I, uh, I did it living with my lovely, amazing, beautiful, beautiful partner. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, and, and my, uh, my parents. Yeah, sure, let's fucking turn it into a panto, why not? <laughs> oh yes, I did. <laughs> I've had, I've had a quick scan of the room, and we've got some, we've got quite a lot of young people here. We've got some old fucks as well. <laughs> Don't want to point you out, but there's one right off the bat. 
<laughs> he couldn't be happy about it. I am an old fuck. I have to. I have to own it. I have to own who I am. Do we have anyone here that locked in with their parents? Amazing. Cool. Over here. What's your name, lovely? Kate. Kate. Nice to meet you, Kate. Are you here with your parents tonight? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shit. Shit might, might get a bit awkward for you here now, Kate. I'm not going to lie to you. Pretend they're not here, Kate. All right. I've just got one question, Kate, and it's a fairly easy to answer question. Kate, yeah. your, um, your, your parents, did you... <laughs> yeah, if anyone that didn't hear that, Kate's dad just went, be nice. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the cameras, you be nice. <laughs> Kate, your parents, did you, did you like them before? <laughs> no. You know what? No, 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 no. There's a positive to be taken here. You've raised an honest girl. Good for her. And I was the same as you, Kit. I, well, not actually, no. I, I, kinda, I was actually kind of the opposite, you know. I, I never really kind of thought about it, I guess. I always just looked at my parents and went, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're fine. <laughs> They'll do. <laughs> that was, that was my overall vibe. Not now, fucking cunts, I hate them. <laughs> Pieces of shit, my parents. And they're both fucking mental as well. I feel like that was just a fairly universal thing that happened in the lockdown. We all just started staring at our parents going, have you always been this fucking mad? <laughs> You've hit it well, actually, fair play. Not my dad, my dad, no. He's always been a bit bonk, my dad. My dad, he's always just been, I'm angry and I'm Welsh, go fuck yourself, right? That's daddy, but my mum, not my mum. I always thought she was like a lovely, lovely little quiet, lovely little quiet Scottish lady. But she's fucking not. She's banana sandwich. She's fucking insane, this woman. She is. I'll tell you the moment that I learned my mother was a mentally ill person. <laughs> it, was, it was just the two of us. Just the two of us in the living room, right? Fuck knows where my dad was. He was probably just upstairs punching a cupboard for something to do. <laughs> just him going, I'm trying to kill a few hours, boy. Get the fuck out. Just me and my mum in the living room. And she turned to me out of nowhere. And she just went, Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, do you, do you want to know what we were going to call you? <laughs> if you, if you were born a girl. And I'm just sitting there going, okay. Here we are. We fucking hit it now, haven't we? Here we are, peak lockdown, shit a chat. Here we go. Oh God, how the fuck am I gonna get out of this? But also, I am bored. <laughs> it's either this or the cupboard upstairs with daddy, so fuck it. <laughs> Let's play. So I went, no, I don't know mum, weirdly. Weirdly, that's never, it's never come up. And she was like, well, Gary, if you, if you were born a girl, we were gonna call you Rebecca. <laughs> I don't know what happened, right? But as soon as she said that, as soon as she said that, I kinda, mm. Mm. Mm, hello. Mm, welcome to my body, Rebecca. How are you? I kind of I kind of became this girl right off the bat there was two things that I knew about Rebecca thing number one Rebecca she's got gout <laughs> nah. nah nah don't don't think that's a male or female specific thing I fucking love meat with no veg that's going nowhere <laughs> and the second thing, the second thing is Rebecca would suck so much dick. <laughs> no, 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 
<laughs> if I was a girl, I'd fuck everything. I'd fuck you. I'd fuck you. Thank you for coming. I'd fuck you. <laughs> Just a joke, glasses. I'd fuck you. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Generally, no idea where glasses came from. What's your name, my man? What's your name? Callum. Nice to meet you, Callum. Callum did a beautiful little thing there. It was a little moment just between me and Callum. <laughs> when I got to him and I said, thanks for coming, his, his eyes, for like half a second, they, they got all sad. <laughs> <laughs> Callum looked at me and just went, hmm. why? why? Why am I not fuckable? <laughs> and then he learned I was just doing a little joke and he got genuinely quite chuffed. <laughs> he kind of backed himself. He was like, yeah, I fucking knew you're fuckable, Cal. These are fucking some sexy glasses you got on. These are fuckable glasses. We all know this. <laughs> yeah, lockdown was weird, man. I found a lot about my dad as well. I learned a lot about my dad. Too much, if I'm being honest. There was one day we were in the house and he was upstairs uh, and I thought he would just be up there fucking kicking fuck out of a cupboard again. But <laughs> took a day off from that, obviously, and he was, he was on the computer. Right? He was on the computer. Uh, and he's like your average, slightly older man. He's not really good with technology. So he had to ask me for my help. Right? So I go upstairs to help him out. None the wiser as to what the fuck is about to happen to my life. <laughs> so I go into the room and I go, yeah, Dad, what, uh, what, seems, what seems to be the problem? And the first thing he said to me, the first thing he said to me, he just looked at me and went, right, got it. Listen, boy. I am. Um, I need you to know this, Gareth, right? I love your mother very much. <laughs> I'm just there going, where the fuck are we going now, Daddy? Because <laughs> that's never good, is it? And it's never the whole thing, either. It's never just, listen, I, uh, I love your mother very much. And, uh, and that is all. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for coming in. No, it's usually followed by a but and then something terrifying. <laughs> like, I love your mother very much, but, uh, but do we own a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> but then this is what he said to me. He said, Gareth, I love your mother very much, but I just can't show it anymore. And I had no idea what this fucking psychopath was talking about. I had no idea. I was just there going, are you turning to me for like romantic like advice? I'm not the guy to turn to on that, Dad. I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good with delay days, right? <laughs> Probably because I say stuff like delay days. <laughs> so I was just kind of panicking going, I don't know, Dad. I think she likes fucking Michael Bublé. Do something with that. But he went, no, no, Gareth, you're not listening to me, boy. I love your mother very much, but I just can't show it anymore. Right, okay, you're all picking up on it. I still wasn't. <laughs> Took me way longer than you all, so I'm glad, glad you're all up to speed. So I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Then he did this really weird thing where he tried to tell me everything that was going on just just by using his eyes. <laughs> he was like, no, Gareth, I, uh, I, uh, I just can't show it. <laughs> any, any more, Gareth. And I went, oh, still not a fucking clue, right? <laughs> So I looked past, I looked past his head and I looked at the computer and it was on Google. And there was just one word sitting there in the search bar. Just one word. And I'll be, I'll live with you. I didn't know one word had the power just to fucking rip everything inside of me apart. But the one word I read, I just read it and it was, uh, it was, it, it was Viagra. Yeah, yeah, correct with your silenced hush. Correct. 
I read that, and as soon as I read it, there was like a whole rush of emotion going through me. I'm there just trying to suppress this shit down, going, oh, Dad. Oh, Dad, Papa. Oh. Oh, fucking Papa don't preach, Daddy. Oh, hold on, hold on, were you, oh, were you, were you, were you, were you about to ask me to, to, to buy you some? <laughs> some Viagra. <laughs> so you can fuck my mother? <laughs> Yep, that is exactly what was going on. You wanted me to buy him Viagra so he can fucking bat into mum? That's mental. What a mental thing to do to your only son. As soon as I heard it, I was like, nah, there's, there's no way. There's no way I'm doing this. This is all far too weird and creepy. And then, if I'm honest with you, I just looked at him. And he was just sat in his chair all fucking hunched. And he looked, he looked kind of sad, like, I really want the bloody Viagra, boy. <laughs> and I just looked at him and went, you know what, it's my dad. It's my dad, he's, he's my buddy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave him hanging. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Sorry for that. So, so I did, right? I did. I bought him this Viagra. And like, I really thought it would be like a very quick and easy transaction. It wasn't. There's so many weird different types. <laughs> isn't there, mate? Isn't there? There's so many weird types. This is obviously relating quite hard over there. I know a knowing laugh when I hear one. There's actually more of a knowing screech, like a... But there is, there's so many fucking weird types. And they all have like really creepy, terrifying names. One of them, one of them was called the Turbo Dick 3000. And I was like, that sounds lethal. I don't wanna, don't wanna hurt the girl. I'm getting this from my mother, remember. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get the Turbo Dick 3000. I don't want my mum to get turbo dicked. I don't care what millennia, if I'm honest. <laughs> the, first, the first thought in my head, I was like, fucking busted, never sang about that, did they? <laughs> they weren't there going, not much has changed, but your mum's getting turbo dicked whilst underwater. <laughs> they didn't sing that, they didn't sing that. And they all, they all have like really weird pros and cons as well. That was by far the strangest part of the whole transaction was just me having to read out every single pro and con while my dad was just leaning over my shoulder going, yeah, what does that one say, boy? What does that say? <laughs> I even got my readers on, Gareth. I even got my readers. The fuck's that one say? Turbo deck. No, she won't like that. Skip that, boy. That sounds a bit aggressive for me, actually. I'm more of a gentle lover, personally. <laughs> you didn't need to know that, boy. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here, boy. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> and they all, they all last different times as well. Every single Vaga, like lasts a different duration. My dad, my dad was so convinced that he wanted the eight-hour one. <laughs> I was like, eight hours? That's a fucking shift, Dad. That is a shift. Eight hours. You should never be in the position where your erection legally entitles you to a lunch break. <laughs> should never be there. <laughs> also as well, this is just for us. Uh, he didn't want my mum to know. That was very much part of it. He was like, let's fucking keep this between you and me, boy. And I was just like, fucking eight hours. She's gonna fucking know, Dad. <laughs> I 
Also, eight hours. It's not eight hours, just sheer this. You get like 10 minutes of that and then seven awkward hours where they're going just pretending to ignore it. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, lockdown was pretty, pretty shit, actually, lockdown. <laughs> Quite rough. But, uh, but it wasn't all bad. One, uh, one, one good thing did happen to me. And that was I, uh, I, I got engaged. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of the women. That was nice. <laughs> I said I got engaged, and just everyone went, "Oh, oh, that's nice." It really gives you hope, that, doesn't it? Really gives you hope. <laughs> really makes you feel like there is someone for everyone. That nice. If fucking Fatty Magoo can find someone, you'll be fine, Stacy. You hang in there, girl. <laughs> and just every man, every man, I could feel you. Every man just went, nah. <laughs> no, I don't know if I believe him. I don't know if I believe him. I think the sweaty Hagrid's full of shit. That's what I think. <laughs> but I did, man, I did. Got engaged to a real lady. <laughs> oh. She's real. Yeah, that second one sounded way too forced. <laughs> She's real. <laughs> I did, I did, uh, I got engaged. Do we have, do we have any engaged people here? <laughs> one fucking, one guy. I think I've got you sussed now as an audience a little bit. Dead lovely, fucking, going for all the fucking punchlines, love you. As soon as I chuck out a question, all of you just go, don't say a fucking <laughs> word. I'm not being fucking part of this, I am not part of this. Where, where, where was the engaged person up the back there? Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, nice to meet you. What's your name, man? Uh, Freddie. Freddie, nice to meet you, Freddie. Freddie, uh, are you f uh, are you with you with your partner tonight, Freddie? I am, yeah. Perfect. Right, okay, Freddie, I'm good at because the only reason I bring up that I got engaged, right, is because I'm pretty sure that I got engaged wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I fucked the whole thing up, right, and the best way. I can think to describe to you lovely people just how much I fucked it up, is I'm now gonna have a little role play game <laughs> with your man, Freddy. <laughs> a little game that I like to call, Who Fucked It Up More? <laughs> but don't worry, Freddy, I really fucked it up. I like your chances. <laughs> Freddy, question number one. Did you, when you proposed, did you, did you have a ring? Cool. <laughs> Let's call that one nil, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy, se <laughs> second question. When you proposed, did you do it in a, in a nice place? Did you do it in like a romantic setting? Uh, yeah, yeah. You took a second there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, actually, yeah. Where'd you, where'd you do it, Freddie? Where'd you propose? Uh, we got a hotel for our anniversary. Got a hotel for, did this hotel? Oh, fucking, some women love that. Oh. <laughs> you better get me a fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Two nil, Freddie, sweet. <laughs> did, you, did you ask their parents permission, Freddie? Did you do that? Uh, no. No, good, good. Oh, someone didn't like that over there. <laughs> but I agree with you, Freddie. I, th I think that's a fucking weird thing. It's outdated, isn't it? Yeah. We're done with that. Because if you think about what that actually is, is that's you like walking into a room going, hello, sir. <laughs> Apparently that's how I enter rooms. <laughs> Good eve, sir. <laughs> but it's, it's like you're asking permission. You're like, see, see the thing that you made. Can I? Can I now have the thing? <laughs> They're like, I grant you permission to the thing. It's weird. If fucking Freddy's partner wants to fuck up the rest of their life and spend it with Freddy, <laughs> that's only their choice, you know what I mean? Last question. Now, this one, re this one interests me. Uh, so, so you're engaged, uh, you're getting married, you're getting, are you getting married this year? Uh, yeah. 
Cool. So have you have you been? This is this always fascinates me. Have you been to any wedding fairs, Freddie? Uh, no. No. You said that like you didn't know what one was, Freddie. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I'll totally fucking explain. Because I had to go to one of these things, right? I went to a wedding fair fairly recently. By the way, in case there's any other Freddies in the room, uh, if you don't know what a wedding fair is, um, just just picture like a fun fair. <laughs> and uh, take out all the fucking fun. There you are. It's the same. It's the same. All the stalls, there's fucking none of the games, just shit. Just some guy going, you need a kill, it's shit, right? Now, I, I went to one of these things, right? I went to a big one. I went to a really big one. I went to one at Murrayfield. There was like 2,000 people there on that day, right? Now, I'm going to be honest with you here. I didn't want to go to this, right? I really didn't want to go, because I had this little thought in the back of my head going, what if, what if I'm the only guy there? <laughs> and I wasn't. Of course I wasn't, that would have been insane. Now nah, there was three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Me and two guys working the event. <laughs> One of them was the creepy kilt guy from earlier. No, I did this thing, right? Because I was quite nervous about going. I did this thing before I went to this wedding fair. I, uh, I, uh, I smoked a joint before going. To the, thank you, but no. <laughs> I did. I smoked a joint before going to this wedding fair because I thought it would relax me, and I thought I'd just be walking through the thing going, "Oh, this is nice." I thought I'd just be bumbling through, hot dog in one hand, just fucking. <laughs> Oh, cool, it's cool. <laughs> but, but it wasn't. It wasn't that. I'll tell. I'm here to tell you what happens. Right. Learn from me. If there's any potential couples in the room tonight, and you find yourself engaged, and you go to one of these wedding fairs, don't do what I did. Right. Don't smoke a joint before going to a wedding fair. Because I'm here to tell you what happens if you smoke a joint before going to a wedding fair. You book a fucking magician. That's what happens. <laughs> You might, you might not even like magic. You might find magicians a little bit creepy, actually. <laughs> You'll be there. And I left her alone. That's what I did. Stupidly. Stupidly. She was like having like this whole conversation about dresses. And I was just like, that's nice. You do that. I'll fucking go looking for a hot dog. Right? And I was just by myself for a bit. And I found this fucking magician guy. He blew my mind. And I went, let's book him. Let's book the guy. <laughs> And when she came to find me, I have never known disappointment like that <laughs> in my entire life. She came to find me and she was like, oh, God, I've got, I've got so much stuff stored. I spoke to a videographer. Uh, I've got a dress fan and a couple of wings. Uh, the centerpieces, I've got that, I've got the linens. Have you, have you done anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've done stuff, I've done stuff. Of course I have. Let me introduce you to the magnificent Bernardo. <laughs> you fucking try follow this cup. You fucking try. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Lord knows I've tried. And I'm fucking... <laughs> this fucking guy, he's good. He's good. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to tell you. I will tell you. How we um how we got engaged, but just just before I do, I really need you all to know that I do love this woman. <laughs> like loads, loads, crazy crazy amounts of love for this woman, and the reason I'm telling you this now is because when I tell you the story, I think all of you're gonna go, I don't think he fucking likes this girl. <laughs> I do though, right? Because I've had that moment. That moment's already happened. Like the test of like w if we're compatible. Because we're compatible on so many things. Almost everything. But there's one thing we are not compatible on. Like at all. She fucking loves scary films. And I hate scary films, man. I can't do them. I can't do it. I hate them. I've always hated them. I'll tell you when I first realized that I couldn't do scary films, right? I remember... I was like 15 years old or something, right? Me and a bunch of friends of mine, we'd arranged a trip to the cinema to go see like Alvin and the Chipmunks or something, right? <laughs> yeah, I was ready for it to be a good day, right? 
<laughs> buzzing. I'm fucking buzzing for some Alvin. I am. <laughs> so we get there. We get to the cinema. And I don't know what happened. I can't remember. I'd love to tell you. I can't remember what happened. But we got there. We got there a bit late on the day, right? And we missed. We missed Alvin and the Chipmunks. I know, mate. Hashtag gutted. <laughs> Worst day. <laughs> So then we're there going, what the fuck are we going to do? What are we, we fucking missed out on the chipmunks. There was the whole reason I left my house today. What the fuck are we going to, what are we going to do? And then someone in the group came up with a quite good idea. Why don't we just go see the next film that's, uh, that's available to us? And I was going, that's a fucking great idea, Brian. That's why you're fucking head of the group. Good for you. So we did, right? We went to look at the board and went to see what the next film available to us was. And the next film playing was a little film called Paranormal Activity. Ah, <laughs> oh, so a few of you familiar with said piece in. Cool. For the rest of you, if you're not familiar with Paranormal Activity, uh, it's not a lot like Alvin and the Chipmunks, actually. <laughs> it's quite the fucking opposite, if I'm level with you. So I know, I know I'm not good for scary films. So what, I, and I know my fear is about to be outed in and amongst my friends. So I'm like, I start to pitch other ideas. I'm like just trying to suggest different stuff. I'm there going, yeah, 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 yeah. Could do, could do, could do. Yeah, could go see Paranormal Activity. Or, oh lads, wait to hear this. Or, or we could wait three and a half hours and go see Ratatouille. Huh? <laughs> a fucking little mouse and he's a shit. Uh, I think this guy's gonna eat the cheese. Should we go and fucking see? But no, they weren't, they weren't game for it. So we had to go see Paranormal Activity. My fate was sealed. Now, I should tell you, there's three things that I do every single time that I go see a scary film. Without fail, three things that I do. The first thing that I do is I talk throughout the entire film. I'm just constantly just trying to like rationalize it in my brain. I'm there going, okay, Gareth, okay, Gareth, these are all actors. These are all actors, Gareth. The director yelled cut and then they went for lunch. <laughs> you like lunch, Gareth. You like lunch. <laughs> Just think of your top three favorite lunches and we might fucking survive this. Right? <laughs> the, second, the second thing I do every single time is, do you know that bit in like every single scary film? It's often near the end of the film. There's only one person left because everyone else is fucking dead. <laughs> and they're going through like this old, creepy, dark house that actually added to the atmosphere. <laughs> I actually appreciated that. That was good. Did anyone else have a little, oh, fuck, what's that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's just one person going through this dark, creepy, old house. And all they have is a torch. And they're like heavy breathing, like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit, I'm gonna fuck it. Oh, fuck, shit. Oh, fuck. And then they're going up this old, creepy staircase. And they get to the end of the corridor. And there's just a door there. And they go up to the door handle. And they put their hand on the handle. <laughs> that was actually quite good, actually. <laughs> that sounded way more like a cat. I fucked it. Well, there's a fucking cat there. <laughs> Hand on the door. And then they go into the room, the pitch black room. And then the torch, of course it does, the torch. <laughs> <laughs> goes out. And it's in that moment, every single time, I just go, fuck off! <laughs> Shit on a brick! Anything. Anything that's in here, I just fucking let him piss my cock off! Anything. <laughs> And the third thing I do every single time is uh, spooky farts. <laughs> nah, nah. A rate of spooky farts. It's almost just, it's almost like my asshole's trying to warn me <laughs> that we're in an element of danger. No. He's got my back. He's like, Gav, look up! <laughs> right? 
And he's looking out for me, do you know what I mean? I appreciate him. Paranormal Activity, it was bad. I did like five of them. It was a bad one, right? We get to the end of the film. I've fucking <laughs> had the worst day of my life. We go to leave. I've got a new nickname by this point, Spooky Farts. Kids are mean, right? <laughs> as, soon, as soon as I leave, I like, text my dad to come and pick me up. So my dad comes and I get in the car. And just as soon as I get out, I fucking, I'm just greeted with this big Welsh head going, All right, boy, how, how was Alvin in the chipmunks, boy? <laughs> Was it good? Was it Gareth? I've heard it's had rave reviews, boy. Four as the Guardian. Must have been a fucking belter, boy. <laughs> I'm just there going, no, oh, no, Dad, actually, no, we didn't, um, we didn't, we didn't go see Alvin the Chipmunks. By Christ, I wish we did, but we did. <laughs> we, um, oh, we went, we went to see Paranormal Activity, Dad. And my dad changed entirely. He just went, Oh, Gareth. <laughs> Gareth, that, that sounds like a scary film, but you, you're not good with scary films, Gareth. <laughs> what, what possessed you to go to probably on word choice there, I apologize as well. <laughs> what, <laughs> what's it about, Gareth? That's what he asked him, and what's it about? What's paranormal activity about? I mean, oh, Dad, it's about this weird demon thing. And it comes into this family's life and it just fucking kills them all. And I just want to go home and enjoy our last few remaining hours with Mum. <laughs> Let's just go home. I don't want to talk about it. He's like, okay, Gareth, I'll take you home now, boy. Right. But just before we go, Gareth, one more question, Gareth. Did you do any spooky farts, Gareth? <laughs> Five of them fucking must have been bad. <laughs> so he drives me home, right? And as soon as I get home, I fucking run up, run upstairs, straight into bed, and I cocoon myself in bed. I'm doing fucking Hail Marys, <laughs> right in a well. I'm panicking, right? <laughs> I can't fall asleep. That's the, the truth. I can't fall asleep. I finally fall asleep about one o'clock in the morning, right? And I, I finally fall asleep, and I'm just lying there, and I'm shit you not. I wake up about three o'clock in the morning to the sound of my door <laughs> just going <laughs> and I'm right back in the cinema screen just going fuck it <laughs> just shouting weird shit into the darkness <laughs> for like a minute and then nothing nothing happens and I'm just lying there going Fuck. Where's my fucking torch? Right, where the fuck? I wait like 30 seconds, nothing happens. And then, like 30 seconds later, my dad, just in his tight but also somehow loose pants. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like they're tight but the band's. Lo anyway. <laughs> A little bit of ball hanging out. We've all seen them, we all know. We know these pants. My dad, just in his tight but loose pants, just burst into the room and just went, FUCKING DEMON! <laughs> that was the first time I ever spooky shat, so... <laughs> right. I'll tell you how I got engaged. This is, this is how we got engaged, genuinely, right? It was in the middle of the lockdown, right? I need you to remember that, because we all went a bit mad in the lockdown, didn't we? Just bank that information, because I'm about to make some bad choices here, and just remember that going, oh, well, we all went a bit mad, let's let the boy off, right? So we're in the middle of the lockdown. My girlfriend, at the time, she was, she was on her phone, and she was scrolling away on her phone. For a split second, I was like, is she on fucking Tinder? What's going on here? <laughs> This relationship is not going as well as I first thought, right? But even worse than Tinder, way worse. She was on, um, she was on, she was on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. She's just watching a 13-year-old girl do this. <laughs> that was my genuine attempt there, actually. <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not a very nimble boy, right? 
<laughs> she's on her phone on TikTok and she sees this video of this wedding venue, right? And she shows it to me, all excited. She goes, Gareth, Gareth, look how pretty. Look how beautiful. Look how pretty. Look how beautiful. This venue is. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's just how I impersonate all women, to be fair. <laughs> so pretty and so beautiful. I was just getting quieter and quieter as well. Like, <laughs> this venue is, and she hands me the phone. Now, I don't know what the fuck to do with this phone. I don't. I'm just trying to go, right, okay, what's like a classic male response, right? So I take the phone, spit, obviously. <laughs> Anything alpha starts with a, right? And I look at the phone and I just go, <clears throat> yeah, yep. Yeah, oh, fair, fair play. <laughs> no, you fucking, you fucking nailed that, love. That is, that is both pretty <laughs> and beautiful. There you go. <laughs> and I go to give her back the phone. Now she lingers on that. Like that was not a sufficient response from myself. So then my stupid brain, my stupid fucking brain kicks in and it goes, oh God, she wasn't, <laughs> she wasn't too happy with that actually. She's probably looking for a bit more from you there. So I know what we'll do. Why don't we, why don't we book a viewing? As like, as like a cute little date. It'll be like a fun little role play day where we can picture where our lives will be fucking never, right? <laughs> I'm doing quite a lot of work to not use the words for a laugh, right? <laughs> Shits and gigs, let's fucking, let's go for a laugh. And she was like, yeah, let's do it, right? Let's, let's fucking totally book a viewing. So we went, right, we went to the viewing, and as soon as we got to this viewing, she fucking changed. <laughs> she changed into this woman that's been obsessed with marriage her whole life. The first room we walked in, she's planning the fucking day. She's there going, Gareth, Gareth, look, come here, come here. We could put the flum, 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 flums over there. <laughs> Do I just think that'd be a perfect spot for the flum, 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 flum. <laughs> And I'm there thinking we're having a laugh, so I'm playing along going, yeah, that would be a fucking good place for the flim flammers. <laughs> or, or we could put them over there, couldn't we? We could put them over there. <laughs> no, why would we? Why would we do that? No. no we wouldn't do that, it'd be mental. <laughs> oh, please don't leave me, I love you, right? She is, man. She's planning the whole day. This is the truth. As soon as we were there, she was ready. She was ready to be a married person. And I don't think I was. That's the truth. That's, being honest, that's the name of the show. I'll be honest with you. I'm being honest with you. I wasn't ready. But, you know, I still love her. So I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be... It's going to be quite awkward. There's an awkward conversation in coming here. I'm going to have to really try and let her down easy. <laughs> and as I'm planning some shit that I'm going to say, the woman that was showing us around on the day, she was literally right about to leave. She was at the door. And as she got to the door, she kind of like caught herself and she went, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I actually almost forgot. If you guys actually book with us today, <laughs> we'll, um, we'll actually give you 30% off. And then she left. And it was as she left, I remember looking at my now <coughs> wife-to-be. <laughs> and I remember looking at her beautiful brown, blue, maybe green eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's brown. <laughs> Pretty sure it's brown. Let's lock in brown. <laughs> beautiful brown eyes. And I remember looking at her and I went, you know what? <laughs> you know what? She'll fucking do, actually. Because that's too good to turn down, actually. 30% off. 
I'll level with you. I probably would have done it for some free chairs, right? <laughs> so I did, right? This is, this is what happened. I turned to her and I went, shall we fucking, shall we book it? And she was like, what? And I was like, you clearly love it, you know? Shall we book it? And she was like, yeah, I do. I want, I want to book it. And I was like, but think about this now. There's no ring. There's going to be no beautiful hotel proposal. <laughs> This would be it, this would be the whole thing. And she was like, I don't care. I love you, I love this venue. I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. Aww. Yeah, it's not funny, but it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've gout to be kidding me. You've waited that long. <laughs> you've waited that long. I know this fucking cunt, he's been sat there this whole time going, ho, 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 have I got a good gout pun to ruin this fucking show? <laughs> you gotta pick your moment wisely. You wanna hear it now? Gout, to be kidding me. It's gonna kill, it's gonna kill. I'll just wait till he's right in the middle of quite clearly the fucking theme of the show. And I'll fucking deploy that gout, to be kidding me. They'll love me, they'll love me. <laughs> So here's what happened. Turned to her, said, should we do it? She was like, yeah, let's do it. And then we went over to the book, just like a couple of giggly schoolgirls. We were like, oh, what are we doing? We're bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we put our names down and we fucked off. That's it. Like, I really need you to know that's the whole timeline there of what happened. Should we? Fuck it. Names. Arrivederci. <laughs> okay, one more time for you fucking people, huh? <laughs> Joanna, names, proclaimers in the car the whole way home. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Nothing happened in between there, right? So then we went, to see, we went to see her mother. That was the first person we went to, to tell. Because we thought that'd be a nice first person to bring the news to. And it was. It was for about five to 10 seconds. <laughs> and then she asked one question. And as soon as she asked this question, me and my fiance just went, oh, 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 we fucked this. We have absolutely <laughs> fucked this. Because the question she asked, she just looked at us and she went, guys, that's amazing. We're showing her like, Pictures of the venue, she's there like, it's so pretty and so beautiful. <laughs> and she asked the question, she goes, so tell me, how much, how much is the venue? <laughs> and we both just kind of linger on it. And then I go, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that feels like something we should have fucking asked, doesn't it? <laughs> we didn't know. Think about that. That's fucking crazy, is that? We didn't know. I know now. <laughs> yeah, I know now. Fucking loads. <laughs> Too much. Turns out 30% off of fucking loads <laughs> is still not in my budget. So I don't know if you guys can cash your minds back to the start of the show where I thank you all for being here. I fucking mean that shit. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Cause daddy's got a wedding to pay for. <laughs> right. You guys have been awesome. I'm going to tell you one more thing, then I'll fuck off. Right. Uh, and I don't know how to get into it. Every other comedian, they're fucking great. They're great. They're beautiful. They'll segue in between jokes beautifully. You won't even notice that they've done it. <laughs> Not me. So here's, here's what I'm going to do, Edinburgh. Right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to chuck a question into the room, and we'll take it from there. Right? Now, this question, when I, when I ask it, I have a little feeling, a little hunch, 
that things might get quite awkward in here. <laughs> okay, okay, or like now, all right. <laughs> Most people just went, I mean, it's already quite awkward now. But ladies, I'll say this, ladies, this question, it doesn't necessarily involve you. Just you fucking sit back, relax, and have a good old laugh at us men. Lads, start to shit yourself. <laughs> but also, don't do what you did with the last two questions and just fucking disappear forever. <laughs> if you apply, share with the group, we'll have a nice time, I promise, right? <clears throat> Here's the question. <clears throat> Lads. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> Boysies. Is, any, is anybody here, is anybody here circumcised? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking A. We've got choices. Cool. Who was the circumcised guy over here? Amazing. Was well, well, that you up the back there, my man? Cool. He's doing that, by the way. <laughs> Bit keen to be <laughs> included in this. What's your name, my man? What's your name? Simon. Simon. Nice to meet you, Simon. Fucking good for you, by the way, Simon, because I, I understand that it's going to be quite, can be quite an awkward thing to share with a room full of strangers. So I'm going to make you the hero of the piece here, Simon, okay? Good for fucking you, Simon, right? Fuck everyone else here sitting there with their sweaty hoods. It's gross. <laughs> gross. <laughs> good for you, Simon. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions about your penis, Simon? <laughs> he's game, he's game. Simon, my man, how old were you when you got the old snippity snip? How old were you? 30. 30. Is it too late to go to that guy at the back of the room? 30. That's never fucking happened before, Simon. 30. Fucking th all right, well, fucking the only reason I bring it up. Imagine that was it. Does <laughs> anyone, <laughs> where are they? <laughs> no, the only, the only reason I bring it up is because I myself, I'm a circumcised man. Shalom. Shalom. Mazel tov, Simon, mazel tov. But, uh, but yeah, no, I wasn't your age, Simon, when I got mine done. I was, uh, I, was, I was 24. Yeah, now here's what's fucking happened there. <laughs> Every other time I ask that question, they go, oh, I don't know, mate, but a baby. <laughs> and I go, that's the most common age <laughs> to get circumcised. Then I hit you with the, I was 24. And everyone goes, what the fuck? <laughs> 24, that's crazy. And then after Simon's 30, <laughs> Everyone's just went, oh, that's good for you. You got ahead of the game on that one. You're ahead of the game. 24 is fucking too late. 24 is mental. 30 is fucking crazy. 24, man, that's true. 24. What you can all immediately take from that is that was not a decision that was in my hands. No, I'll tell you what happened. I was getting a hand job from an angry Glaswegian woman. And I believe her exact words were, usually when I do this, that bit goes back. <laughs> yeah, no, full disclosure, I have butched her up there a bit. I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's fucked, by the way, Big Ian. That's fucked. <laughs> Between you and me, you should go fucking see somewhere about that, by the way, by the way. So I did, right? Dead. When, when, is it, when is he a doctor? Uh, and the first thing that doctor said was, "Yep, you should, you should get circumcised." No. So I did. I got, I got circumcised. Uh, no. We're nearly at the end of the night. You've been a fucking wonderful, wonderful audience. Uh, I don't want to bore you with the with the grisly details <laughs> of my of my circumcision. So let's let's just say this. Uh, I don't think they fucking nailed it. <laughs> Nah, nah, they biffed it, they biffed it. <laughs> I, don't, 
don't know what happened. I'd love to be able to tell you. I'd love to be able to go, oh, they fucking cut the flum, 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 flum. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it didn't, it didn't go great. And the reason I know it didn't go great is because now, almost just on like an annual basis, just once a year, my dick goes rogue. <laughs> I don't know, it's the weirdest fucking thing. Just like once a year, it'll just go pinging. It'll like go, it will triple in size. Woo. No. <laughs> <laughs> All the women just went, we should see if we could get that done with you, should we? <laughs> and all the men were like, that's the fucking dream, big in, you live it, boy. <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't triple up in a good way. It triples up and it, look, it looks all sad. <laughs> kind of, kind of looks like the elephant man. It's bad. <laughs> Just once a year, my dick's like, I am not an animal. <laughs> so I did, right? I did it. Fucking, so I was signed up with it. So I went back to see a bunch of doctors. This is the truth. None of them wanted to even know about it. They'd barely fucking look at the thing. I would just show them it and just every doctor would be like, oh, fuck that, fuck that. That's fucking, that's making me sad, actually. I might phone the police, you perv. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out. <laughs> until, until recently. I, uh, I, uh, I got a letter from a, from a doctor who, who described himself in this letter as a penis specialist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck knows what that even is, to be honest. But I know that's just his day. Nine to five, dick, 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 dick. <laughs> so I get quite excited, right? Thinking, not that excited, but quite excited. <laughs> thinking this is going to be the guy. This is going to be my guy that's going to be able to get to the bottom of stuff, right? So I turn up on the day, go into the room. First thing, first thing he says to me, he goes, ready, oh, Mr. Much, if you wouldn't mind taking off your trousers and your pants and going lying down on the bed, that'd be great, right? So I do that. <laughs> no. So he didn't, he didn't say that'd be great. <laughs> what an insane thing for you, don't you? Just take off your trousers and pants, how much you want. That'd be fucking tip top. That'd be great. So I did, right? I went over to the bed and I took off my trousers and my pants and I lay down. And as soon as I lay down on this bed, I had this whole panic come over, come over me, this whole worry. And that worry was, what the fuck do I do with, with my hands? <laughs> where, 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 where do they go? I nearly, I nearly put them behind my head. <laughs> Just, just on instinct more than anything else. Just fucking, what do you think of that, mate? What do you think of that? It's gross, isn't it? It's fucking gross. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I was there, like, searching all the options in my head. I was like, nah, there's got to be a right answer here. There has to be a right answer. Try and find it. Try some stuff. Just try different stuff. And I was like, is, is it this? <laughs> nah, that, that doesn't feel good. That, that feels like you're in a luge. That's no good. I said, like, what, what about this? Yeah, just, just fucking full casket, just. Yeah, well, I mean, you wish you were dead, so let's fucking maybe pretend you are. I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. I finally, after about a couple of minutes of thinking about it, I finally, I finally settled on this. <laughs> One guy just nodded there going, that's what I'd fucking do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what you'd call this. Just like, just like your dad having a nap. Just <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't know, right? And as I said, every doctor I went to see about this, they'd barely, barely look at the thing. <laughs> no, no, not this guy. No, 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 not, not the penis specialist. Now he, he, was, he was just doing this. Just forever, just that 
for way, way too long. Just this. Now, Edinburgh. I'll be honest with you people. I'll level with I was not attracted to this man. But if you fucking bat me about for long enough, <laughs> blood's gonna start going places, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm literally just lying there going, okay, much eat. New, new problem for the day. Let's, let's try not get a boner in this dude's hands. Let's try that. And I failed immediately. <laughs> Haven't even told you the worst bit. <laughs> not even close. Uh, it wasn't just the two of us in the room. Nah, nah, there was a little fucking medical student there. Mm. Yeah, just some guy on work experience. Just someone fucking following the cop doc round all week. <laughs> and he's just in the corner of the room and he's just staring at it. Just staring, leering, if I may, leering. <laughs> right at my dick. It's incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. So I decide to myself, I'm gonna have to say something here. I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to fucking break the tension with a, with a funny little quip. So I decided to say something to this guy. And I'll tell you what I said. Uh, spoiler alert, I fucking regret it. I don't, I don't stand by this as I fucking, it's probably gonna be one of those moments that, you know, when I'm on my deathbed, that'll be the moment that comes back in. And I'll be there going, oh, why the fuck did we say that then, right? So I'll paint the, paint the scene for you. I'm lying there like this. He's fucking batting me about. <laughs> oh, I, have, I have just realized that is not a very flattering mime. <laughs> nah, nah, I like Edinburgh, I won't lie to you. Let's keep it real. <laughs> He's fucking patting me about, I'm lying like this. He's just staring at it. And I finally make eye contact with this guy and I just go, hey, hey. I hope you're fucking learning something here, man. <laughs> and he did not laugh. So I appreciate you guys. Edinburgh, thank you so, so much for coming out. I really, really fucking appreciate you. Thank you so much. I've been Gareth March, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much.